Hello, my name is Jeremy Scream and I'm an Iron Speed MVP. In this video, we're going to discuss master pages. What are master pages? What can we do with master pages? And then I'll give you a live demo of some examples within an Iron Speed generated application using the Southwind database. So, what are master pages? According to the MSDN library, ASP.NET master pages allow you to create a consistent layout for the pages in your application. A single master page defines the look and feel and standard behavior that you want for all of the pages or a group of pages in your application. Content pages are then merged with master pages to produce an output that combines the layout of the master page with the content from the content page. So in summary, Master pages provide a general page layout on an application-wide basis. Applications can have more than one master page, but any given page can only reference one master page. So some of the things that you can do with master pages. Uh, applications built with IronSpeed Designer use more than one .NET master page. The Application Explorer window from a newly created IronSpeed application shows the default master pages that IronSpeed creates for you. In there you'll see a blank master, an email master, a horizontal menu master, a vertical menu master, and a pop-up master. The master pages can be set on a page-by-page -page basis and changed at any time. You can place ASP.NET directives within your application on a global basis by placing them in your application's master page or if you just want to put directives on a single page, you can do it on a page-by-page -page basis. Master pages can be copied and modified per your own set of specifications. Here I have a screenshot of some of the ASP.NET page directives that you can use within an IronSpeed master page. So, with that said, let's go ahead and launch on your speed and take a look at our live application. Our live application was built using Iron Speed Designer version 10.0.2 and it references the Southwind database that ships with Iron Speed Designer. For our live demo I just want to show you some of the common master page questions that appear in the forums, some issues that we can deal with on master pages. First, our Master Pages folder is located in the Application Explorer and it contains the five IronSpeed generated default master pages that appear after you complete the application generation wizard. The Vertical Menu Master is our default master page because we chose a theme that uses a vertical menu. If we right click on an empty cell within the master page and choose page directives. This is where we can add some of the ASP.NET directives that we saw in the slide from the uh, intro. Depending on the directive that you're adding, the location of the ASP.NET directive may go before the HTML tag or in other areas. You can refer to the IronSpeed help file for more information on that. The next scenario I want to cover is if you designed your application with a vertical menu theme but now I want to have a few pages of your application use a horizontal menu. To do that, let's first run our application and see that we do have a vertical menu. All of our master pages that reference that vertical menu master will contain that same layout. Let's go to our Categories and Show Categories table page, which is the default start page for this application. And simply going over to the page section and choosing the page Show, Cust show Categories table just below the Master Page setting. And then going over to the Properties window, choosing the drop down and selecting the page option and then within the properties of the page choose the display setting 
From within here, we see that this particular page is referencing the Vertical Menu Master. In order to change that, we just click the Browse button, navigate to our Master Pages folder within our application, and then choose the Horizontal Menu Master, say Open, and OK. We've now modified that single page to use the Horizontal Menu. All of our other pages that reference the Vertical Menu Master are still unchanged. If we run our application, we have a little issue here in that we don't have a horizontal menu within our application. Ironspeed has just put some default code in there to tell us this is where our menu should go. So let's go create that menu, update our master page, and get it referencing the proper horizontal menu. In order to update the menu, we'll go back to our master page, choose the horizontal menu dot master page, and then within here, we will locate the cell that has the default code that says horizontal menu goes here. So what we're going to do now is locate that cell. We'll drop this down, pick our top level horizontal menu master page section, drill into the main panel. In there we have a page header, page content, and just above the page content is the cell that has the default horizontal menu goes here. So what we're going to do is remove this code and then we're going to go over to the toolbox and into the headers, footers, and menu section. Expand that. Locate the horizontal multi-level menu. Drag that control into that cell. Then we'll rename it menu underscore horizontal and say OK. Now in our menus folder we have two menus. Let's build the application and then let's see if we can take a look at this menu one we just added. It's a new horizontal menu, multi-level menu. If we configure that menu we see it has some default applications that Ironspeed adds for you. All we would have to do is change that to specify our needs. Well, let's run the application and just take a look and make sure our page now has the horizontal menu as opposed to the vertical menu. And it does. So that's all we need to do to convert a few of our pages within our application to use a horizontal menu if we started out with a vertical menu theme. Last thing I want to do is show you how to customize the layout of your page by copying a master page and then adding a section and perhaps in that section you could put some ads or whatever your specifications call for. So what I'm going to do is choose this horizontal menu master, right click, and within there I'm going to say uh, create a duplicate of this page rather than replacing the one that Ironspeed generated for us, we can always go back to that one. So when we create the duplicate, I'm just going to name it My Horizontal Menu Master and say OK to the dialog. And then I'm going to go to the Show Categories table, which we did prior, and change that again to reference My Horizontal Master instead of the Horizontal Master that we changed earlier in the demo. And the page doesn't exist yet, so let's go out of here, build the application, let it create that, all the necessary files, and now let's go back in and choose that master page. And there it is, My Horizontal Menu Master, say OK. Now we will have the show categories table referencing the My Horizontal Menu Master. Most of the other pages represent reference the Vertical Menu Master and some of the email and other pages reference some of these other default master pages. So to modify the duplicate Horizontal Menu Master that we just created, I'm going to choose it, right click and insert a column to the left and within here I'm just going to insert some code, you can put anything you want in here, uh, HTML, JavaScript. For our purposes, I'm just going to, for this demo, 
put an image tag in there just to show you that whatever you put in here will be displayed on any page that references that master page. So let me find some sample image tag rather than type it all from scratch. And here it is. So we're going to modify this HTML code. Our source is going to be the images folder of our application. And in there we have a JPEG file called money.jpg. Our alt will be not a smiley face, but make money. And we'll just remove the height and width and let it use the default height and width of the JPEG image. So let's preview this page or run the application. And you can see there's our little master page that references the My Horizontal Menu Master. If we look at another page, it's going to reference the default vertical menu master. So any page that we specify on a page by page basis can use whatever master page we designate. I'm going to go ahead and top align that image and I'm going to put a little space in here in between the page main panel and the image we just added. And then let's take a look at that page again. And it looks a little better. So over here, depending on your requirements for your application, you could put anything you want. But the idea is that with a master page, you can control the layout of other sections of the page and let the uh, page content contain the primary information that you're working with on a page by page basis. I hope you enjoyed this video on master pages. Please be sure to check out the help file and forums on more info and ideas on things that you can do with your master pages. Thank you.